Greetings to all Linux Mint and Ubuntu users. Have you ever used the command line program YouTube-DL? If you have, then you might find this video interesting because I would like to demonstrate a program that adds an interactive shell on top of this command line program that makes it much more convenient to use. By way of introduction, I am Finian Riley, founder of Hex11 Software, a small indie publishing company. So the program itself is uh, written in Eiffel, a little known language. Um, so I'm going to give a quick demo. So I launch it here from the uh, desktop launcher. It's prompting me to drag and drop a URL I'll use this one to test it. So I hit return and wait while it fetches the formatting information. The audios are listed in descending order of audio resolution. So if I pick the best one, it's at the top. Likewise, the video streams are listed in descending order. <coughs> They're limited to 10 because um, a lot of the formatting is quite small resolution, which uh, most people won't be interested in, I think. So uh, just having reducing it, keeping it down to 10 makes it uh, clean. The very last one is useful for podcasts where you're only interested in the audio track and don't need to see the video. So I'll pick nine. It's a small download, so it'll be quick. <coughs> Then I pick um, a container package, I uh, pick MP4. So I can, if I hit return, I can pick the default title as listed in YouTube, or I can type um, a short title like this. So now it's doing the download into the videos folder. So I just wait and Oh, I forgot to delete the last time. So uh, there we are. So there is the downloaded video. So I'll just test it. Yep, it works. So that concludes the demo. Um, currently, there is no Debian package for this program. But if you find it interesting and think you would like this program, then please make a request in the comments. And if I get enough requests, I'll make a Debian package. Um, so if you're curious, you can find the, uh, the source code at this website, eiffel-loop.com. Um, there's a GitHub repository here if you want to download the entire library. <coughs> it's quite difficult to build, so it's better to wait for a Debian package. Um, so thank you for watching, and I hope this video was useful.